uh, this is our home screen here we have six buttons the first button is unit conversion once we click the button it takes you to the second activity in this activity we have first six use cases the first use case is convert time the second use case is convert length the third use case is convert mass fourth use case is convert temperature fifth use case is convert pressure sixth use case is convert force all the use case in the page is quite similar so let us look at use case one which is convert time after clicking time it takes you to the new page time conversion if the user clicks the calculate button without giving input an error message will pop out the the default unit of time is seconds here and you may choose any other units from the drop down menu let us convert 10,000 seconds to other units and here is the output now to do another time conversion by changing seconds to minutes and then here is the output so we can clear everything by clicking the clear button let us go back to the uh, another use cases our remaining use cases in this page follow same pattern so we'll be going over the use case says remaining in the home page now let us look at use case 7 calculate tip and split like our previous use case if you hit the calculate without giving any input you'll get an error message so let's say if our bill amount is 1000 and we give the tips for tips percent as a 13 percent and a number of people be three so the result is given as shown in the as shown here now if we want to split same percent for same bill amount but among zero people then it calculate it as a one person let's go to use case 8 which is calculate interest like our previous use case if you hit calculate without giving in any input it shows error message now let's enter the value so let's say our principal is 100,000 100,000 time is 10 rate is 24 and interest type is simple interest if you hit calculate you'll get total amount and total interest if you want to change the interest type you can do so by clicking on drop down menu let's change our interest type to compounded annually then again hit the calculate button here is the change in results if the rate or change if the rate is changed to more than 100 then it says time cannot be more than 100 years and likewise for the rate it says rate can't exceed 100 so let's go back to our home page and go for our another use case that is calculate break even point handling error and button performing similar functions as above let's take fixed cost value 10000 variable cost 50 revenue be 80 then hit calculate then there is the units required to break even if the revenue changed to 20 and hit calculate button it says it should be higher than the variable cost now let's go to our home page and enter in our another use case that is calculate apr now let us give the inputs taking loan amount as 123,000 it's my bad it's uh, 12,300 term in years is 14 rate is 22 and finance charge be 1500 then let it calculate it gives out the apr monthly payment and total payment if the rate or time is changed to more than 100 then it shows the error message let's go to our another use case calculate loan likewise handling error of the same kind and buttons performing same functions amount let's see 25000 loan term be 9 and then rate per year be 10 then it calculate payment per month and total interest as the output and that's all our app could do as our function and that's all for the app demo thank you